to do a speech in grade six for my school, and I wasn't sure what to do with them, but I knew about GMOs and I knew that it affected everyone equally. So I decided that I was gonna do that. I'm Rachel Parent, I'm in grade eight, and I've been fighting GMOs for a long time. Our government, first of all, says it's a democracy, so we all have the freedom of speech and freedom of what we eat, freedom of everything, right? But we don't really have the freedom because they're not telling us what we're eating. We don't really have the choice. They're just giving us food and we eat it. So I feel that it's important that we fight for this because it's our human right to have what we want and the food that we want. Why not label it? If you're so proud of it, why not label it? I did a walk November 3rd. We had a whole bunch of costumes, about 150 to 200 people showed up. The goal of our walk is to create awareness about GMOs because if nobody knows what GMOs are, how can they fight it? It's important for kids to know about GMOs and um, it's important for them to take the stand because it's our future, right? The kids are the ones who are going to grow up in this world and we need to make the world a better place for us to grow up in and um, for the future generations too. So I feel that it's important for the kids to take a stand and um, really voice their opinions on it and just stand up and take charge. I have three words for our government. Just label it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. After all, we do have the right to know what we're eating. It's for my future and it's for all of yours. And together we can make a healthier planet. Yes. When I had finished it, it was like, wow, I just did that. And it was so exciting to realize that I had just maybe made a change in someone's life or made a change in many people's lives. I wouldn't know, but even so, it just felt good to accomplish that. And I knew that that wouldn't be the last walk because I love doing it. So the things that might have GMOs, I made sure to get organic. So the first thing is with the butter and the sugar. Well, I realized actually that not that many people are taking the stand to fight against it. And um, I decided if nobody's gonna fight it, I will. I think we will have labeling on GMOs, it's just we all have to fight for it, right? I don't feel hopeless at all about um, this whole GMO thing because I feel that I'm trying my best and as long as I keep fighting I know that we'll eventually get there and everyone eventually will know about GMOs. It smells so good. <laughs> I think that as long as GMOs are still around, I'll still keep fighting them because they come up with worse ones every day, right? So it's just, you gotta keep fighting and if you don't, then they take over. So I'm really fighting against them and as long as they're there, I'll keep fighting. If anybody wants to know about my upcoming Kids Right to Know walk in the spring, um, they can follow me on Twitter, at Rachel's News, or you can look me up on my website, gmo-news.com.